This is Stephen Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD. Keep Mr. Fowler happy, Eddie. Good man. <laughs> We're here in Manchester. That was lively. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get from Mr. Chisora. Um, sometimes it's physical, sometimes it's verbal. That was uh, just an interesting mix of everything. Uh, good fight. I mean, good fight last time out, particularly there were 60 people in a room when we saw it. This time there's going to be 15, 16,000. So good fight, good undercard, a big night of boxing December 18. How much of what Derek said do you agree with and how much do you disagree with? It was a close fight, wasn't it? I think um, I actually... When the bell went in the final round for Usyk Chisora, I thought it was really close. Only when I watched it back, I had Usyk winning by three or four rounds. But the first half of that fight was quite close. This fight, I kind of felt like Chisora was going to get it. And then when they when they announced the decision, I thought, if he don't get it, he's going to go mental. And he didn't get it, and he was like looking for me straight away. I think he thinks that I appoint the judges. I don't think he's learnt yet. That's not the case. That, that was what he was saying up there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know pretty much. And you know, he says, I want this, and it's you know, it's down to the British Boxing Board of Control. Close fight. But I don't think the fight will go the distance this time. I think you know Derek's last two fights have been behind closed doors. I don't think it's helped him at all this time around. You know, big crowd, big energy, and Parker looks ready. You know, he looks in great shape. They're talking about winning the fight by stoppage, and I think that's the plan for them. It's the start of a big end of the year for you, Eddie. Just want to talk through the rest of the card? Yeah, big card. I mean, I, I forgot to mention Joshua Boatsy because he's in camp with Virgil Hunter in San Francisco. That's a brilliant fight, Boatsy against Vlasov. You know, probably one of the toughest fights, um, well, he's the toughest fight of his career so far. I thought Vlasov beat Joe Smith, should be a world champion. That fight is a 50-50 fight. But, you know, you come through that, you're ready for any of the champions. Gongora against Richards, brilliant fight. Um, also, Zelfa Barrett. Really good fight against Taremo, IBF eliminator. Jack Cullen gets a shot at the European title. Jordan Thompson, Rhiannon Dixon, David Naika, the Olympic bronze medalist. Sandy Ryan, Cyrus Patterson. It's a massive night of boxing. And uh, you know, one of the best cards we put together. Can't wait, Eddie. I thought it was a good fight last time. You know, I mean, there was only, as I said, 60 people or so in the arena. So it's hard to get the energy and the atmosphere. You'll get it in Manchester this time. Um, I don't think the fight will go to distance. I think. Parker believes he'll stop him. I think he looks in great shape. And I think Chisora don't want to leave it to the judges. So I think they're going to go at it. It's going to be pretty wild with the atmosphere. I think you're going to get a great fight. And this fight falls on the same night as Jake Paul, God, Tommy one. Fury. Um, I've seen some opinions of yours on social media. Um, Jake Paul, could he, could he get the win? Oh, I've no idea. Worryingly that even people are talking about it being competitive. You know, but I haven't really seen enough of Tommy Fury. I saw his fight four rounder on the last card. Uh, a couple of stoppage wins, but it's a bit worrying that this he's had seven fights, Tommy Fury, or eight fights, and this is by far the toughest fight of his career. Jake Paul. Do you know what I mean? Off the back of his win against Tyrone Woodley, is mm. Jake Paul a serious contender from your point of view? No. But I don't have a problem with him fighting because he's taking it seriously. You know, he's sparring, and anyone's entitled to try and turn pro. It's just that he's got a load of followers and making millions out of doing it. That's why some people don't like it. But he's built that, that profile. He's built the right and the ability to do that. So let him do it. Um, he's not very good. But for a YouTuber who's never really boxed before, he ain't bad. Do you know what I mean? But anyone of any ability in boxing will be. And it, it, again, it just worries me that this is a 50-50 fight. Because... Someone who's 8 and up and a prospect should breeze through this fight. So, we'll see. Realistically, what percentage chance would you give Jake Paul I've absolutely, of getting his hand raised on the night? I've absolutely no idea because I don't know enough about Tom. But again, for, for a 7 and 0 or 8 and 0 prospect, they should be a 10 to 1 on shot to beat Jake Paul. But the fact that it's. And Jake Paul wouldn't take the fight if he didn't think they beat him easy, which is frightening in itself. So, I'm very confused. 